All right, well, I think it's official that uh, my fish room here is slowly becoming an RC room also. Fish tanks are kind of, uh, uh, they need some attention. A little dirty at the moment. <laughs> we get our poison dart frog tanks on here. More frogs, more frogs, RC stuff, fish tanks, frogs, frogs, more frogs, Ooh, can't hardly see in there, but the reason for the video is right here. So, uh, just making this video to go over, I guess, some of the parts for my Arma Creighton 1 8 scale uh, EXB Extreme Basher build. And uh, just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at, the parts that I've got, and then I'll kind of update you along the way. Let me pull up a chair here. So we went a little crazy, obviously. Got another project down here. Tamaya, TTO2, 3S, aluminum, everything. Uh, that's kind of what we did with this one too. Aluminum, everything. Uh, GPM, I see a lot of guys hating on these GPM parts. Uh, you know, ultimately my decision to go with them was uh, uh, they were the only ones that had everything for this truck in stock. I had placed an order with Intigy uh, and it sat there for 15 days without being uh, processed and I canceled the order. Uh, my first choice was hot racing. I do have a few hot racing parts in here, but uh, for a majority of the parts, uh, they were out of stock. You know, I was going to have to piece it together with a bunch of different things and ultimately I went with GPM because I'd ordered from them before a few smaller things and uh, the order was processed in a timely manner and the quality was good I mean I hear a lot of people uh, you know talk about this and the, the, the quality of their aluminum and you know uh, all that uh, you know I can tell you having all of these parts in hand uh, they feel very nice. The fitment is very nice. Uh, I don't think a lot of these people talking about the aluminum quality are exactly metallurgists. And I'd, uh, I'd bet that most of them have never actually had these parts in their hands and are just kind of fanboying for uh, one brand or another that they prefer and choosing to bash on GPM. Now that's not saying that I'm some avid supporter of GPM. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I uh, either will or won't be, I guess, uh, after this after this build because uh, you know a majority of this truck is going to be built with GPM parts, and if it's great, then I've got good things to say, and if it's a piece of crap, well, then I have very good things to say. But uh, we'll go over some of the parts, all the parts that we've got lined up for it in a minute. Um, I just, I guess, wanted to show you kind of where I'm at at the moment. So it's going to be powered by the Castle 1717 1650 kV motor, uh, along with the Castle. It's back here, uh, Mamba Monster X8S. Uh, we're going to be running the Spectrum 4S. 100c batteries and uh, I had this truck out initially when I first got it and uh, 20 tooth pinion and it was uncontrollable uh, <laughs> it was absolutely insane so uh, it's gonna be really fun uh, we went ahead and for this build went with this ProTech black label 370 TBL I believe yeah uh, great servo, uh, feels awesome in the hand, uh, great torque numbers, decent uh, uh, response time, and also if you look, it maintains most of its torque and most of its speed at 6 volts 
versus 7.4. So my receiver is only able to be ran at 6 volts. Um, I'm not sure if that'll affect it at running at 7.4. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the ESU to just run it at 6 volts because this servo is going to have plenty of torque right at 6 volts. And I've got that installed here, a little Spectrum uh, horn on there. Probably switch that out. I've got a variety of different horns actually to choose from for this build. And we'll just go with what looks best, what fits best, and, and what just overall works the best. So uh, we've got that in there. Uh, of course, uh, we've got the motor installed. Went ahead and, and got some of these uh, uh, protector cable protectors and went ahead and put them on and just heat shrunk them on the lead just to protect these wires a little bit also insulate them a little bit and insulate uh, these connections down here a little bit in the past uh, I actually just had uh, oh that's starting to come off the heat shrink didn't take that very well I'll probably have to put a new piece on there but uh, you know I'd had a problem in the past actually where these two leads had started to arc across to each other and melted the solder on the B terminal here and started to melt away on the A so I didn't want that to happen again so I wanted to get some protection you were it's really hard just it's hard to see but because of the shape there it's really hard to get shrink wrap any further down than what I have it there but uh, but uh, anyways, I've got the cable protectors on there just to help out a little bit. And I went ahead and did the same thing on the wires coming off of the ESC. Uh, so we went ahead and just did it on these two leads. And also your servo wires are your uh, leads going into the receiver. And, uh, and I, will, I will do the same. Uh, with servo wires uh, before we're done the servo wires this is a really really long servo wire and I only need it to go right here so uh, I'm probably oh timber uh, I'm, I'm probably going to hold off and shorten that uh, that wire before before I proceed so I guess the next thing I'll show you that we've done here is we have reinforced the inside of the body with uh, drywall tape and E6000. Uh, drywall or uh, shugu, I guess, is supposed to be kind of the same thing. I went with E6000. Uh, really, really tough, tough, tough rubber. Uh, uh, not a very nice job, honestly. <laughs> this stuff was harder than I was expecting to work with. I got it pretty flat some places. This back section here, especially around this vent, was really hard. Uh, once I got the glue on there when I was trying to spread it around, I just could not get uh, uh, the tape to want to stick right there. So, but uh, anyways, uh, you know, you're on the body like this and uh, it's completely functional. So, uh, really, really, really stiff, really, really tough body now. So I'm happy on how that turned out. I'll put this off to the side here. Uh, went with this, move this out of right here. Sanwa uh, transmitter and receiver combo here. Uh, just based on some recommendations that I'd seen online. It seems to work really well. Uh, but uh, it'll do the job, so. Uh, also, so far, I went ahead and got the uh, carbon fire cross brace from Scorched Racing Parts. And we've got the the uh, hot racing ends on there. We also have the, uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, the hot racing mounts front and rear for that. We also got some hot racing on the bulkheads. Those bulkheads are going to get swapped out. But... Uh, the GPM bulkheads, I believe. Oh, they came with their own cover, so we can either use those hot racing ones or just have those as backup. Uh, what else have we done back here? Uh, body mounts. Uh, cannot find front aftermarket aluminum body mounts anywhere for the Creighton 6S from Intigi or Hot Racing or GPM or. Uh, really anybody that makes uh, aftermarket aluminum parts for this truck so if you know somebody that makes front aftermarket mounts let me know I'm gonna buy them right away uh, 
yeah, I think that's about it. So we'll put the truck, uh, oh, we'll just kind of turn it here so we can see a little better. So, uh, like I said, the castle motor, uh, we've got uh, some shims there to shim the differentials. We've got uh, Fast Eddy full ceramic sealed bearings. We're going to go ahead and replace all the bearings in this truck with those. I've already gone ahead and cleaned and oiled those bearings, so they're ready to go. Uh, went with the Lunsford Racing titanium pillow balls. I'll have those uh, both sides on the front, top and bottom. Uh, also went with Lunsford Racing uh, full screen. Okay, uh, so this is the bottom screw set here. Uh, we also have the top screw set that's a little bit larger. They don't, uh, Lunsford doesn't include some of the kind of oddball sizes uh, for their titanium screws. So we went ahead and picked up the 2.5 by 8 millimeter, the 2.5 by 12 millimeter the two millimeter by eight millimeter titanium screws uh, that are not included. Uh, the mount here, I have the carbon fiber mount coming from Basher Queen to replace this for my Mamba Monster ESC. I also have their carbon fiber uh, on off switch mount that goes underneath the fan for this coming. Uh, so I have all these Kyosho parts and people are probably wondering what these are. These are all pillow balls and ball ends all different sorts that are used throughout this truck. We have these that are used uh, on your uh, 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 sway arms or uh, uh, stabilizer bars um, and just all different sorts and these are used all throughout on, on shock ends on, and mounts throughout the vehicle. Uh, for instance, you know, we've got them here, we've got them here. Uh, one that I also have is in here for your sway bar mounts. And I went ahead and picked up, where are these at? We've got some blue, uh, those are M3, red M4. These really big heavy duty M5. So we'll just play around with those and see what we can fit. But the goal is to get rid of all these plastic tie rod ends. Uh, we also have, well, we'll get we'll get to that here in a moment so we've got all your ball ends lots and lots and lots and lots of those here uh titanium the ball ends a few arma parts we've got the exb shock standoffs i think that this truck actually already comes with those i wasn't sure i ordered a set may need them in the future uh i got your arma uh or uh droop screws uh we'll go ahead and replace the stock droop screws with these uh, a few different options here for your turnbuckles. These are the Lunsford Racing Titanium Turnbuckles. Uh, and this is a set from GPM with aluminum with plastic ends. And uh, another set from GPM uh, steel with aluminum ends. And likely what I'm going to end up doing here is, uh, is putting these aluminum ends with the Lunsford Titanium uh, uh, turnbuckles if that all fits that's the setup we're gonna run so uh, we'll go through some of this hot racing stuff so uh, front and rear uh, skid plates if those uh, if those fit and look nice we'll run those Okay, uh, the, these back sway bar mounts, uh, I was just looking at the GPM ones, do have their own green sway bar mounts. I ended up with two sets of these. Uh, their own green sway bar mounts, uh, but maybe I'll put the black ones on just as, uh, you know, some color difference there. You know, make it, make it show up a little bit better. But uh, also got their servo saver uh with the clamping lock nut we'll see we'll try that out see how that works uh we got their hubcap nuts place these red ones but the hot racing ones have the little dimples on them that's a little cooler even though they're behind the wheels whatever uh this is a little skid plate mount i think that you need 
uh, something to make a smooth transition underneath here something the description says we'll we'll go back out and look at their description and see but we might need that um, and then these rear brace and wing mounts uh, I'm not sure if these are for this truck I haven't figured out yet where these go so we'll see uh, now for the GPM racing stuff, like I said I already showed you these uh, turnbuckle ends, these are uh, front, these are rear. Uh, ordered, ended up with three sets of these. They weren't what I thought they were. These are differential lockers that you put inside your differential. Um, I thought they just went on the outdrive and, and dressed it up, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure these just lock your differentials up, so I don't think I'm really going to be needing those. Um, so we have the uh, these are the front. We've got all the arms uh, in aluminum. These are your front uppers. Uh, we ended up with red front lowers. Um, I just ordered these for now. I just wanted to get everything pieced together and then once the green come back in stock we'll order a set of those so everything matches up. And, uh, and then probably same with the shocks. Uh, I really like the look of these green shocks. These are for what, the rear. Yeah. Uh, so in the front they didn't have green in stock so I ended up with red for these fronts. Um, but no, so we'll put those on for now and swap them out to green once GPM has green back in stock. Uh, so we also replaced uh, all the uh, steering knuckles here. We've got those in green. And the rear hubs, we've got those in green. The rear arms in green had kind of a theme going here. I liked green, but there's also going to be some splashes of red because I'm, I'm leaving in most of the red uh, that the EXB came with, along with some blue little splashes that we're going to have here and there. Uh, green motor mount. Uh, not sure if I'm going to run this or the red one that stock. Seems to be pretty much the same design, same fitments and everything like that but because all the surrounding parts are going to be green we'll probably go ahead and run this instead of the red aluminum that came with the truck uh, so this is just another part of that center differential uh, again this is another part of that center differential so because we've got that all in green, we'll, we'll probably run it all together. And then these are just some of the suspension and steering pieces. We've got these all in green. This is a front top plate, which now that I'm thinking about it, I have, I believe, no, oh, this is different. I have a hot racing front aluminum brace here. And I think this is actually going to be this plate below it we'll replace with the green aluminum. This style of servo horn, uh, it's supposed to re reduce stress, I guess, on your steering components. We're going to learn a little bit more about those. Uh, you know, this is one of, I think, three or four aluminum steering horns that I have for this truck. But if I can use this one, one, because it's it's going to match everything with the green, but also if it does have some effect in, in reducing wear on the steering components, we'll use that. Uh, and we also have the front steering uh, components here in green. And these are like your suspension mounts. I think this is rear lower, front lower, rear lower, and this is also part of that center differential and motor mount. Uh, also we got the, it's hard to see because they've got it double wrapped in here, but we got the GPM racing. Uh, this is kind of a neat design that I, I really like. It's, uh, it's both your rear wing and a wheelie bar mount 
in one mounts in a truck like this with your wing oops sorry with your wing on top there and we leave ours to catch you when you're doing wheelies so really like that part and we also have the gpm racing uh bulkheads for front and rear Hopefully the fitment is really nice with these. Uh, the one part that I'm still waiting on, I have them on pre-order, is Arma is coming out with a red aluminum uh, uh, differential case that's a 29 millimeter that's going to fit these trucks. It's a larger size specifically for the EXB. Um, I've got three of those on order, um, and they're expected in sometime in May. Um, I wanted to do everything, everything at once for this truck in one go, but I don't want to wait another month just for those differential cases to come in. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we'll run it for a month, and then uh, after a month we'll take those differentials out, rebuild them, maybe try some different fluids in them, reshim them, and uh, and then go ahead and put those new Arma, or I'm sorry, yeah, new Arma. Uh, differential cases in there so i think that's pretty much it i'm going to get to work here and i think we're going to go ahead and probably tackle the front end first on this truck and start putting all of our suspension components on there and uh we'll update you as we go on this one but uh yeah should look really cool when we're all done here so i'll let you i'll let you see the final product when we're done